Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, my name is Peter. Today we will go back to 2020 to explore all the scientific discoveries and breakthroughs that made in that difficult year. Hope 2021 to be a year that we solve the problems of COVID and be able to move on again in our life as normal. Anyway, let's get right into the video. 32,000 years old stone tools and artifacts were discovered in a cave in Mexico. That new evidence fueled the idea that the first people arrived in North America after continental hopping from modern-day Siberia via the Bering land bridge between 18,000 and 30,000 years ago. The problem is that the land bridge 32,000 years ago, scientists think that it was impossible, making researches to suggest that the first Americans arrived by sea. Now, let's take a trip to England. There, archaeologists revealed that they determined the origin of some of boulders that make up stone heads. Stoneheads is about 5,000 years old, made up of two distinctive types of stones set in half circles. The boulders have been traced to a place in Wales 150 miles away, while others came from a nearby area called the Woodland. It is insane how they managed to drag them such a distance, if you ask me. But as you've seen, the ancients have created amazing monuments. Now let's move from an ancient problem to a modern one. Plastic, as we all know, is an invention that made our lives much easier. But the pollution that we created each time we dispose of plastic to nature is a very big problem. This plastic can take up to 1000 years to decay in nature. Researchers from the Center of Enzyme Innovation in the UK, though, thought of a different way to handle the problem. They created an enzyme that breaks down common type of plastic called PET. I have the word in the screen since there is no chance of me reading it correctly. English is not my native. The enzyme used in scale can cut the amazing 300 million ton of new plastic that humans create each year, making manufacturers to reuse the same plastic as many times as they wish. With all this stock for pollution, we can move to a place that has a big impact. In Arctic, two glaciers, Pine Island and Titus, are rapidly collapsing. Titus Glacier, or as known better, the Doomsday Glacier, as it has already contributed to 5% of the overall sea level rise, is breaking down more quickly than previous understood. This glacier is protecting others from warming sea, but when it collapses, it will take neighbor ice masses down with it. This process could rise sea level nearly 10 feet, permanently submerging many coastal areas including parts of the New York, Miami and Netherlands. So I think it's time to call Elon Musk and go to space with the crew Dragon spaceship, as Elon Musk did last year by sending astronauts to Earth orbit and then to the International Space Station. After two months of working on the station, they fell back to Earth parachuting safely into the Gulf of Mexico. SpaceX also grew its Starlink satellite constellation and began testing the internet service across the USA. The Lanza Beta program to test the early version of the Starlink internet service. The first users reported that 900 satellites provide broadband-like performance internet connection, which is pretty cool. Now NASA launched a new rover in March that carries an oxygen synthesizer and the first drone. The rover lands on July 30 and it is expected to land on February 18. If everything goes to plan, when the rubber lands, it will begin its search for life by drilling into the Martian soil. It will collect samples and later return them to Earth. The drone will test technologies that humans need to survive on the planet. The robot is also attached with an oxygen synthesizer, which can essentially produce oxygen from carbon dioxide in the Martian atmosphere. What an exciting time to be alive! This year also NASA did an amazing high five on an asteroid. Osiris Rex lands 2016 and reached asteroid Bennu in 2019. The spacecraft prepared to scoop samples as it was orbiting for two years. On October 20, it successfully touched and go on the asteroid and collect two pounds of samples. This mission is expected to return in 2023. Also this year, a meteor fall in Australia and inside they found ancient stardust, the oldest solid material ever discovered on the Earth. With the samples bring back some fuel for exciting new discoveries. Now let's go to something darker. The experiment in Washington and Louisiana, known as the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, or also known as LIGO, and the Italian counterpart detected 39 gravitational waves. Now, what does that mean? That means that 39 times in 6 months, two massive objects somewhere in our universe collided and created very powerful gravitational ripples in the universe. This time, the amazing discovery was a collision of two neutron stars. That was not unusual, but what happened next was. They merged together and immediately collapsed into a black hole, leaving nothing behind. While stars disappear in seconds, Venus got back into the scope of scientists again with a remarkable discovery. Phosphine was discovered in the planet, sparking potential for alien life. Scientists were skeptical, saying it could be produced by volcanoes and lightning strikes. 
Still, the smaller amounts of phosphine can be explained by volcanoes and lightning alone, according to nature. Is it alien bacteria? Is it a mysterious chemical reaction in Venus' atmosphere? Still remains a mystery. This was some of the best discoveries of 2020, there are still many that I did not mention in this video. If you like a part 2, then like, share and subscribe to help me out. Thank you very much.